Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Nom 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 69 starting up a new tutorial series. And today, in our tutorial series, we will be beginning GDI Plus graphics using the C Sharp Windows Form application building. So, first things first, we want to start up a new project. And you see, I have a bunch of bunch of other projects uh, options here. If you just went and downloaded C Sharp and I'm assuming you know how to download GSARP if you're here for a tutorial. But anyways, this is GDI plus graphics. We're not going over forms. We're just going GDI plus graphics only. So first thing we want to do is go and open and start a new Windows form application. And we will call this application GDI plus tutorial. Alright. And it starts us up with a new a new form. In this form, we're just gonna leave it blank. Um, we don't want to resize it. We should just change the text on it to GDI plus tutorial and double click it. This will take us to our form load. And in our form load, we first want to set this dot double buffered equals true. You can also, if we go back to the form one, the form design, we can come up here to double buffered and hit true. That'll also work as well, but I like to put it in a form load just so I know that I made that change. Um, what the double buffer does is it prevents flickering when we're drawing a lot of objects on the screen with the GDI graphics. So you're going to want to double buffer your form. Um, secondly, we need to access the paint function for our form. And that's really easy. We're just going to do this dot paint plus equals and you're going to see new paint event handler and then and as a parameter form one underscore paint press tab to insert just press tab to insert that that's what we want to happen and when you do that you're going to get an error because right now what it wants is this function to be declared someone so I like to control C and what we do is private void control V form one paint and first we need object sender and then um, System dot windows dot forms dot paint paint event args and we'll call it e. There we go. Form one dot paint. So here, so what happens is our form load. Um, in our form load, we come down here and we add a new paint event handler so in this function is where we're going to draw everything to our form like this is the new function that draws for our form so next thing first we actually want to add a timer to our form so that way we can we can have the screen constantly refresh so what I like to do is go I need to view the toolbox first so other windows toolbox if your toolbox is lost and just add a timer and I'm gonna timers aren't that difficult to use um, I'll go over them very quickly a few. So we'll call this a TMR um, at timer. Um, set its interval to 10. The interval of the timer is in 10 milliseconds and we'll set enable to true. So every time, so what a timer does is this function right here, app timer tick, what happens is every 10 milliseconds, whatever is within this function will fire off, will happen. And so all we want to happen is this dot refresh. So what's this going to do is going to make our form refresh and draw over again. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over the rectangle functions instead of simplest to do, and we'll start it off with just rectangles. So um, first, we need to access. How do we draw to the form? Well, in our paint args uh, parameter up here is e. Within that structure is an e dot graphics. Our graphics is like what we draw with. So just don't look at the errors right now. It's just because we haven't filled out the rest. E dot graphics. Our graphics contains a ton of functions which allow to draw stuff to our form. There's draw arc, beezer, beezers, close curve, draw curve, draw ellipse, draw image, draw image on scale, draw image on scale and clip, draw line, draw lines, draw path, draw pie. We're just gonna start with a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Now there are three overloads to the function. The rectangle just draws the outline of a rectangle. There's a fill rectangle function, which we'll do next. We're going to do a pen and a rectangle rect. Uh, pen, fill x, y, width, and height. And then 
our point and our pen are x, y width height for the third one. Is there any difference? Oh, there are floats for that one and ints for this one. So let's draw with the first one, our pens rectangle rack. So do pens dot black. And we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new rectangle here because I don't want to actually make a structure for it. The rectangle structure just contains an X and a Y and a width and a height. And we can access that by the constructor. So we'll draw this at zero, zero, and give it a width of um, 50 and a height of 75. So what this is gonna do is every 10 milliseconds we're gonna draw a new rectangle. Um, we're gonna have to build our solution. So where, oh, here we go. Um, F7 to build, and we'll start debugging. And here's our form. We're drawing a black rectangle up there on the other screen. Now let's go to the overloads for this function. So let's do e dot graphics dot draw rectangle and uh, pens pens dot red pens dot red and we'll just do uh, we're gonna do the second overload and the only difference between the second and the third is one is integers and the others uh, float we'll do the ones in integers so we'll do uh, let's put it at 50 50 give it a width of um, 75 and a height of a hundred because I like that that's what I want um, so now if we run our application we get a red triangle a red rectangle I mean over here drawn with the GDI uh, plus now let's say we want a filled rectangle um, let's do as like a black backdrop um, so do e dot graphics dot fill rectangle fill rectangle and uh, would um, now you're gonna see here is a brush parameter and the other one we had a pens and there's a standard set of pens that we can access pens dot black pens dot red and our um, things there's the same thing with brushes so we want our brush to be let's do a um, brushes dot blue we'll do blue and uh, a rectangle new uh, rectangle and we'll just do zero zero three hundred three hundred and what this will do is this will fill the background of our form since our form is 300 by 300 not exactly but but it'll work um, a new rectangle will be 300 by 300 and since it's drawn first it'll be behind our black and red rectangles so what so let's run it and we have our brushes our blue backdrop on our red and black rectangles we drew so we do that with a fill rectangle and there's also there's other overloads for the uh, function um, there's the um, rec rectangle f rect second kind of rectangle um, flow x y flow height width and then just our x y so we can do as the same as 0 0 300 300 and get the same results as we got with the other one bam there's our blue backdrop now what you need to, now there's one more thing I want to go over Pens are generally used for line objects, like our draw rectangle, where it's just a set of lines. Whereas brushes are stuff that fills in areas. That's just something I want to make clear. And now let's let's show you what would happen if we had double buffered set to false. So let's get rid of this line of code. I set it over here to true, so double buffered equals false. Now if we want our app, see this? Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bunch of flickering. This is because it's not bu double buffered. Double buffering is when it renders like the whole image without actually drawing it to the screen. So it'll render it and then really quickly put it all on the screen. So what happens is this blue, what happens right now is this blue background fills in, then this is drawn and this is drawn. And you see it all happen. It's kind of like if I were to take a, a paintbrush and wipe all the way across the screen and color the whole screen in black. And you saw me like use the paintbrush to fill in the screen black instead of one second the screen's like this and then the next second it's black. So we'll just go back to our form load and just set this dot double buffered equals true. So this is our first GDI plus graphics tutorial and I know it was probably a little long but thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys later.